Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It is in the description below this video, your email question line. For the price of this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform, reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a 2020 limited edition of 600 pieces in hard blackened stainless steel. This is the Seiko Prospects 1968 SLA-03. J1, also known as the SBDX033. This is the black series of the SLA35, a watch that is drawn from the imagery of 1968 with the materials, fit, finish, and capability of 2020 and now 2021. The watch measures 44.3 millimeters in diameter, 15.3 millimeters thick, and from lug to lug, 50.2 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs, so it will accept that pretty much universal strap size. There are many 20 millimeter options. The timepiece fits well on my wrist because it's fairly short across the wrist. I actually think this watch would wear fine on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. You can see it is thick, though perhaps not as thick as it looks. And it is extremely comfortable on this silicone bellows style strap. Taking a quick look from the top, you can see the looks really aren't encroaching on the edge of my wrist here. So I've got room if I wanted to put this on a smaller wrist. Now the strap is a wonderful piece. It's silicone, not vulcanized rubber, which means it's a little bit softer. And that really does come across both in the hand and on the wrist. You can see there's a little pattern on the bottom so it can better aggress against the skin and hold itself in place. And then we have a blackened, alternately polished and satinated stainless steel buckle with stainless steel hardware in the form of a strap minder. The case is monoblock stainless steel, which means everything loads through the front. The case back, as well as the mid case, all of this is one solid piece of steel. And that's why you see on the back, it says divers watch 300 meters, which it is for saturation diving. Now, generally, that is the kind of professional level diving that occasions a helium release valve. Well, the idea here, and this is Seiko's own claim, is that because helium gas cannot enter the case, there's no need to vent it. And therefore, we don't have a helium escape valve, but the watch is still rated for saturation diving. You can also see there is individual numbering out of 600, part of the Prospects collection, the SLA-035 Black Series, powered by the 8L35 movement. You know when you see that, that is the caliber being used. The case is actually Zeratsu Black Polished. Let me grab my polishing cloth here and show you because unfortunately my fingerprints have intruded. There is a hard black coating on top of a case that is mirror finished so it has both satinated elements and polished elements and all the polish is actually executed manually using a spinning tin plate. This is an art that takes about three years to master and so this is hand polished before it's black coated giving it an upscale uh, somewhat artisanal ambiance and the watch is priced high. It was originally a watch that retailed for $2,900, just under $3,000 for a Seiko watch. So this represents sort of the upper reaches of a Seiko dive watch line. It's something that could be considered a flagship piece. Now there is an off-centered crown screw down, of course, to make this watch more ambidextrous. Let's hear the detent. It's very subtle, creamy, and yet well sprung and well detented. I would say it reminds me of Rolex and Cartier, Calibre de Cartier diver bezels, in that it's very fine and refined, but it is a 120 click that has very clear detents and can be placed very, very precisely one click at a time. We have a ceramic insert and then we have a sapphire crystal over a dial that is black with lovely applique indices, an upscale feature you don't necessarily expect on a Seiko. There is plenty of loom. Let's take a look at that now. And as you can see, it is robustly loomed, all three hands, and then the first 20 minutes of the rotating bezel. That bezel sounds good and it feels good, so plenty of loom here, no dearth of luminescence. And we have uh, movement inside, automatic, manufacture, 50 hour power reserve, stop seconds with a quick set date, beats way at eight beats per second, pivots on 26 joules, and again, it is suitable for saturation diving and diveable down to a rated 300 meters. And lest you think that that saturation dive claim is an idle boast, this watch is actually ISO 
compliant with the definition of a saturation dive watch. So there are broader principles being applied to that nomenclature. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.